Hi, I'm Yuhuru Williams, I'm a historian, and here's what you need to know in order to sound smart about Plessy versus Ferguson. The Plessy versus Ferguson case originated with Louisiana's infamous Separate Car Act of 1890. The Separate Car Act required African Americans and whites to sit in segregated compartments on public carriers in Louisiana. People at the time of the Plessy decision actually believed that it was possible to measure the amount of black blood a person had in their body. The plaintiff in the Plessy case, Homer Adolph Plessy, was actually described as seven-eighths white. Homer Plessy was arrested after he refused to give up his seat in defiance of the Separate Car Act of 1890. Plessy versus Ferguson is considered an important case because it established the doctrine of separate but equal that allowed states for the first time to legally segregate the races. One of the reasons that Homer Plessy brought suit was because of the difficulty in enforcing segregation in states like Louisiana. Louisiana had a large mixed race population, making it very difficult to determine where the line could be drawn in terms of separating the races. The doctrine of separate but equal that grew out of Plessy versus Ferguson became the standard for all segregation ordinances after that decision. Despite the Supreme Court's ruling in Plessy v. Ferguson in 1896, the first municipality or city to pass a residential segregation ordinance was Baltimore, Maryland in 1910. The Supreme Court's landmark ruling in Brown v. Board of Education in 1954 ultimately was the death knell for the doctrine of separate but equal established in Plessy v. Ferguson. Young people in large numbers came out and joined what became known as the Red Guards. These largely terroristic organizations were used to publicly humiliate, assault, and in some cases, even murder political enemies of Mao and the Communist Party.